Lucas Pui may have the best story at Roland Garros. We're telling you how he went from battling depression to celebrating victory at his home slam. Plus, we're looking ahead to the final day of first round action in Paris. The break, it starts right now. Hey everyone, I'm Andrew Guy and you are watching The Break. On Sunday, Frenchman Lucas Puy became the lowest ranked man to win a main draw match at Roland Garros in 10 years. He's currently ranked 675th in the world, but has been as high as number 10. So how did he fall so far in the rankings? Well, a series of injuries stunted his form for about a year, but then during the 2022 grass season, Puy began struggling mentally. He told L'Equipe that he was sleeping one hour a night and drinking alone while at tournaments. This depression forced him to lie to his then coach, Felix Mantia, about his health, saying, it was impossible to close my eyes. I was all alone with Felix. I would go back to my room and look at the ceiling. I was sinking into a creepy thing. I stood up with my eyes blown up every morning. Felix asked me, don't you sleep? Yes, yes, I have allergies, carpet, pollen, grass. I was lying to him. He went on to say that that period in his life led him to the fear that he'd be institutionalized. It was that fear that made him stop playing altogether. He added in the interview that his daughter was a huge motivating factor in getting healthy. Then a casual hit with fellow Frenchman Pierre U. Herbert reignited his interest in tennis. He made the 2024 Paris Olympics his goal and went back to work. Back in March, he began preparing for a return on the clay and just last week, Puy found himself playing in front of a home crowd at Roland Garros. Lucas hadn't played a match in over a month coming into the Roland Garros qualies. After winning the three matches necessary to move into the main draw, we got this wonderful moment. The celebration continued off the court as well. Puy carried his daughter through the halls following his win to cheer with the ball kids. He'd enter into the main draw of a major for the first time in a year, and things got even sweeter for Lucas when he won his first round match just three days later. Following the win, he sang the French national anthem with the crowd. You gotta check this out. Crowd support has been a huge factor in Puy's run. Following that first round match, he spoke to the press about playing in front of the French crowd. It's really special. Um, that's why also I, I think I took I don't know 30 minutes on court to sign the to sign all the autograph, uh, take all the pictures because we finished very pretty late and uh, the court was uh, still packed uh, and they were cheering me up from the first point to the last one uh, and it was uh, yeah the energy was just incredible and uh, it was uh, so many so many good emotion his second round appearance will bump him 200 spots in the rankings to around 475. He'll face Cam Norrie on Wednesday for a spot in the third round. Lucas would have to make the quarterfinals to get his ranking back inside the top 150. Two days of first round matches down, one day to go. Let's look ahead to Tuesday at Roland Garros. Top seed and defending champion Iga Swiatek will take the court against Bushka. Fresh off of her win in Rome, Elena Rabakina will also begin her Roland Garros campaign against talented teenager Brenda Fruvertova. Major champions Victoria Azarenka and Bianca Andreescu will face each other for a spot in the second round. Top-ranked American Taylor Fritz will battle Michael Moe. Fritz has never made it past the third round at the French. He'll try to change that this year. Italian Open champion Daniil Medvedev plays his opening round match against Sabolth Wild on Tuesday. And Italian Open finalist Holger Runa also takes the court against Chris Eubanks in round one. Live coverage from Roland Garros begins daily at 5 a.m. Eastern time on Tennis Channel. We'll see you tomorrow.